Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 3rd of 2020. Well, it is titled the antennae galaxies in collision. So what do we see here? Well, this is what we see as a couple of galaxies and it may look all blurred together as one galaxy, but this is actually a couple of galaxies known as the antennae galaxies and they are in the process of colliding. Now galaxy collisions are not what we think about here on Earth when we think of things like a car crash, which happens almost instantaneously and is then over. Galaxies because of their immense size, their collisions can take hundreds of millions of years. So we're only catching a brief snapshot of the collision in progress. If we could go back tens of millions of years, we would see the galaxies as separated. And if we could go forward tens of millions of years or so, we could see the galaxies merge together into a single galaxy. And in a few hundred million years, it would just look like a normal ordinary galaxy having settled back down after the collision. So what we do see during a collision is that in galaxies, stars do not collide together. Why not? Well, galaxies are mostly empty space. So the size of the stars relative to the distances between them is such that they will just pass right through each other when the galaxies collide. However, larger objects like gas clouds will collide and when gas clouds collide, they compress and enhance the rate of star formation. So star formation here occurs at a much greater rate. And we can see that in the long streamers of blue stars. And if we recall, blue stars are very young stars. And we know that because they don't live a long time. So many of the hottest blue stars might live only 10 million years or so or even less. And therefore we know that they formed recently even during this collision. We also see a lot of bright red hydrogen regions and that is hydrogen gas being excited by hot stars. And again it takes very hot stars that don't live a long time to cause these to glow. So the fact that we see so many concentrated around these galaxies tells us that star formation has been very intense uh, over the recent few million years. We can also see many of the dark dust lanes scattered around where star formation is still going on. And over time, these will continue on and we will see this more stars would continue to form within these dark areas, adding to the enhanced star formation of the galaxy. Now over time, as I've said, they will settle down and combine into just a single galaxy. The burst of star formation will end. Most of the stars there, those young ones, won't last very long anyway. And if we came back in a 100 million years, they would all be gone and the galaxy would be much more settled down to just a single galaxy again. And in fact, after a few hundred million years, you would not even know that a collision had taken place. Now we believe this is a, pro a common thing within all galaxies, including our own Milky Way, that they have collided in the past and merged together. And that is how galaxies grew from the very small galaxies that were present after the Big Bang to the much larger galaxies that we see today. And in fact, our own Milky Way is scheduled for a collision in several billion years as the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way approach each other and get closer and closer. So it could be someone looking from a distant galaxy several billion years from now would be able to look towards our Milky Way and Andromeda and see something much like we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for December the 3rd of 2020. It was titled the Antennae Galaxies in Collision. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.